Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. Yes, so we've just returned from a, a seven day trip from Cornwall. We stayed at another Park Dean site, um, quite a lot smaller than we're used to, but it is right next to the beach and the site that we visited was um, Hollywell Bay. Um, but um, yeah, it's about 10 minutes away from uh, Newquay. So um, yeah, it's in a, a good location. Um, and in this video, what I'll do is uh, I'll give you a bit of a tour of the site and then, um, yeah, uh, a bit of what we got up to whilst we were there. And before we get cracking with the video, if you can consider subscribing, if you're liking the content I'm producing, check out our social pages. Uh, that'll be great. Uh, like I say, all, all the uh, subscribers really helps to push the channel forward. So yeah, uh, it's free as always. Just tick that that little button in the bottom uh, right corner and uh, yeah, help support the channel. So obviously there's loads to do down in uh, Cornwall, um, whether it's attractions or the beaches. Um, if you're looking for some of the discounts for the attractions, it's well worth going to uh, the reception of where you're staying. Um, a lot of them will have these packs um, and what this contains is a number of flyers um, for the different attractions down in Cornwall but it'll also have a booklet in the middle that'll have all the discounts available some of them are sort of 5%, 10% um, or money off but um, yeah, they, they, the, with the vouchers you do need to present them at the different locations I know we last year we did football golf and, and that was a couple of pounds off and again we just had to actually take the voucher with us but um, yeah, well worth going to reception and seeing if they've got those welcome packs available just so again you can get some discount so this is coming into sort of the main straight and this is um, probably a, a couple of minutes away from actual the main site where we're staying. Here on the right at the moment is a site called um, Travornik and it's one that we've stayed at um, a couple of years ago and it's, 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 it's a good site actually. It's uh, got quite a lot to do there. It's got access to the beach as well but it is a bit hilly to get there. Um, but um, yeah, lots to do so worth checking out that site as well. This would be the sort of uh, road uh, and path down to the beach if you were going to go down this route. And it is actually probably a lot easier than going over sort of the golf course and the dunes to get to the beach. But um, yeah, we've certainly done this and um, yeah, <laughs> quite out of breath by the time we actually got back to the top. Um, but there is a car park down the bottom, but yeah, it's sort of 50-50 if you get a space. But uh, yeah, as, as you come down the hill here, um, our entrance is just here on the left. Um, but um, yeah, you would just carry on down this road down towards the left um, and then you come to the pub and then that gives you access straight into the beach. But um, yeah, it is only a few minutes down there to gain access. So obviously this is taking you into the main site now. It is a bit windy here, but um, yeah, no, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, yeah, just watch the, the final corners as you come around because, uh, yeah, if you're obviously towing a caravan, it can be quite tight. But um, yeah, it'll, it'll give you enough room to see what's coming around. But um, unlike some of the other sites, it is quite um, sheltered here as well. So, um, yeah, you, you shouldn't be too bothered with the, the wind um, from that perspective. But, um, yeah, obviously it doesn't stop the rain. So, um, yeah, just keep your fingers crossed that, um, yeah, you have nice weather. So here on the left-hand side, you won't actually see it at, at this part, but reception is just here on the left-hand side. Um, and it is where you get your touring information as well. Um, so yeah, you can just sort of park up here on the left hand side and just run in and grab the, the bits that you need. Now the main entertainment here is on your right, you've got your shop, um, a surf shop and this building here on your right is your main entertainment. Not the biggest, but there is entertainment here. And on your left you are actually driving past the swimming pool and your entrance is just there on your left to gain access. It, it, uh, it is an outdoor pool only, um, so yeah, hopefully the, the weather is good for you if you turn up. But it is heated, which is uh, uh, the main thing. And this is coming into the main touring area now, so it's not, um, uh, um, I'd say, loads of pitches, but um, yeah, certainly enough, and enough space for what you need. 
and here on the left hand side um, is all your sort of facilities um, there's outdoor showers if you come back from the beach your toilets and all that kind of thing and your main touring here is on the right but um, I've gone around to the left here just so again you can just get to see the size and um, yeah the different layout but this is your yeah your main area that you're be coming through like with most of these sites now they've actually uh, installed some of the sort of uh, cabins at the top here these luxury cabins um, lodge things safari lodges um, but um, yeah it's there's only a couple there then it get takes you back into the main sort of touring area as normal And if you check out the website, there is sort of different pictures that you can get. Um, but again, they are uh, mainly separated. Um, so again, you, it's sort of yeah your, your main access um, each to uh, your pictures. And yeah, you get your water and electric hookups. And then you've just got your um, wastewater points um, here um, and throughout the middle of the pictures. And yeah, there's our lonely caravan in the corner. There is a few small parks dotted around the, the campsite, but um, yeah, only for the smaller children really. Um, and this is sort of, yeah, gives you an idea that there is your uh, laundrette there in the middle over the far side. Then you've got a surf shop, then you've got a normal shop, uh, arcade in the middle part here. And then over to the far side is your main entertainment. The park size is much smaller, so we did find actually it wasn't too bad getting a table in the evenings, um, depending on what was going on. But um, yeah, not a bad size. And there is a soft play uh, pool table and some basic bits here, but um, yeah, not too bad. One of the items that was a hit for the kids uh, of an evening was the pool table, yeah. So, um, yeah, they certainly uh, got practicing on this. But uh, there is a few um, small arcades on site, which is just around the corner, but you do have to go off, off out, out of the main entertainment space. But, um, yeah, quite basic. But, yeah, they do have something to offer uh, the smaller children if that's what you're after. So this is your pool area. As I said, there is no indoor pool. It is only this outdoor pool. And you've got a flume up at the top there that comes down and around. Um, the pool itself, yeah, is a good depth. I think it's 1.9 meters. Uh, and it goes obviously shallower to less than a meter down the far end. And then there is a, a smaller baby pool down the end. But um, yeah, it is heated. Um, but uh, yeah, just make sure you book um, before you turn up. So as you head back out by reception, if you were to carry on straight down, you'll see a path in a minute and that takes you straight down to the beach. So from here to the beach is literally like a five minute walk, if that, um, and it is all dead flat. Um, so yeah, no need for any huffing and puffing over hills or anything. And yeah, you've got it sort of, that's your outdoor football court and basketball area. But um, yeah, just down there, a nice, easy little stroll to the beach. So one of our trips, external trips out, was to Healy's uh, cider farm, and um, yeah, it's, it's a r really nice location. You can easily spend a couple of hours here, and obviously this is where they brew the, the rattler cider, which you'll find in most pubs and um, bars down in Cornwall. But um, certainly a lot to do, and um, yeah, not just tasting the ciders. There's other things. There's a, a farm on site, a museum. Um, so yeah, plenty to do with the kids itself. It's not just a, a pure drinking uh, location. So um, yeah, well worth a visit. So this was the uh, different jams and chutneys and stuff that they produce. And, and just where we started before we got onto the harder stuff. Um, but um, yeah. Certainly kids enjoyed sort of trying out a few different bits. Can we keep him? So 
So this is uh, obviously the, the farm. And uh, yeah, not massive, but um, certainly a few animals there. And again, just uh, just kills a few a few minutes um, and adds to the tour. So um, yeah, again, we probably spent a good sort of 10, 15 minutes here just having a wander around. You just need to watch out for the, the peacocks because yeah, they're, they're quite stealthy and before you know it, they're behind you or above you. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out for those. So this is one of the first stops where you can go and uh, start actually uh, tasting some of the different products that they produce. Um, one of the hardest places to get Louise from, but um, yeah, we did manage it eventually. But um, yeah, it's, uh, we've got different options there, some non-alcoholic drinks as well, and, and some of the bits for the kids to try. Um, but uh, yeah, it is like one of sort of a couple of different stops that you get to try the products they produce. No, it would only be rude not to pour your own pint and um, taste uh, it fresh out the barrel. So um, yeah, it's uh, quite a funny experience where you, yeah, you can just go up, pick a glass and then pick a beer and pull it yourself. This is a new area they've created um, and this is where you would start doing your cider testing. Um, so the different flavours that they do, mango, peach, the original, so yeah, there's uh, certainly a few just to go through and uh, try out. So they do offer tractor tours here as well, Go obviously going through all the um, different fields, looking at the uh, different kinds of apples that they have here. Um, but uh, this is a, a an extra paid item for so yeah if, if, if this is something that you're wanting to do yeah you will need to ask at reception that you want this to be included um, but uh, like I say you can use your vouchers if you've picked those packs up um, to get some money off so as I said um, as long as you don't get any traffic um, it is only 10 minutes down to Newquay, which is where we are now, just down at the beach, just having a sort of a scout around. But um, yeah, quite, quite a uh, close location. And um, yeah, you can, obviously you can't go to Newquay without going to the Fat Willy shop. Well, you can't with our kids anyway. So um, yeah, a little visit in there just to stock up on a few items. And then before I knew it, Jack had found the arcade, which wasn't the intended sort of destination to go to but um yeah we spent um yeah unfortunately about half hour in there but um i had to show jack the way on some of these games and um yeah it's uh it was quite funny but izzy got uh one of obviously one of the soft toys for her little sister so um, she was pleased So that was Jack Shack telling me how it should be done and um, yeah, himself trying to challenge him but um, yeah, I didn't do that great. He, he actually went on to actually get the jackpot out of this machine somehow, I'm not sure how but um, yeah, too good for me. So this is Hollywell Bay Beach which is right on your doorstep if you're staying at that site. It's like I say about a five minute walk down and um, yeah it's sort of the tide is out at the moment but um, yeah a, a cracking beach. Waves aren't too bad so if you want to do some bodyboarding it's certainly an option. Um, you would get out there paddle boards but um, yeah it's I would say bodyboarding is your main thing but um, yeah they've got a load of these caves as well to go exploring 
there is a, a famous one to find but um, I won't tell you exactly where that is but it is down down on the beach so again it gives you the option to go exploring but uh, as always just check the the time for the tides and so you don't get trapped on some of the different caves down there but um, yeah quite funny just going through and, and just trying to find the right location and um, yeah kids found it funny but um, yeah a really really nice beach we've spent a, a, a few nights down here and I'm watching the sunset um, go down but um, yeah you, you often find that you're not alone there's um, a lot of people doing the same thing and they've got fires on the beach and um, yeah just having a few drinks with the family so um, yeah a really nice beach and like I say right on your doorstep so yeah only um, a short trip and um, uh, there's a nice pub at the end of it as well if you, you want a beer before before you go or once you finish so um, yeah certainly options available for you So we've been to Cornwall a number of times now and it's finding different things to do when we're there and on this occasion it was um, a little bit damp in the afternoon so we thought we'd take a trip to Bodmin Jail. Um, this probably takes a couple of hours to go through, there is sort of a number of things, um, sort of like a 4D cinema to start with and you go through sort of interactive stages and then it takes you into the main jail itself. But um, that's where you, you, you look for different letters within the cells to make a word which you then can exchange for a, a present at the end. Um, but um, like you say, it's, it's something different. Um, but um, yeah, I would say it's, it's well worth a, a look. And again, there's a, a discount within the uh, voucher pack if you're heading in this location. But um, it was interesting to go through different bits and just learn um, some, some of the history about the jail. So Louise has family down in Cornwall and um, yeah, they're located in Newquay and this is Fistral Beach and wow, this is a lovely beach, it's always good waves down here so if you're looking for sort of bodyboarding, yeah, this is definitely a place to be, the kids absolutely loved it here, um, yeah, lovely sandy beach and um, yeah, crystal clear water as you can see so um, yeah, well worth a visit. Um, if you get the opportunity but um, it does get quite busy here but um, yeah it's definitely a, a top location to visit if you're in Cornwall at some point and there's plenty of um, shops behind you so again there's yeah if you need a bucket and spade or drinks then yeah there, there is some bits here for you And um, yeah, that's sort of, that's the uh, hotel that was in The Witches, the original movie. And there's your different sort of shops. Um, but um, yeah, definitely worth a visit if you get the opportunity. So on our last day, we decided to come back into Newquay itself uh, and visit the Sea Life Centre. Um, I wouldn't say it's the, the biggest one we've been to. And I wouldn't say um, it's the greatest sort of value for money either. Um, again, yes, you can get discount in the in the booklets, um, but um, yeah, it wasn't of um, a massive size, so it wouldn't take you too long to go through this. All I would say is, um, yeah, check out the different times because you can get um, in the feeding area. You, they do a talk, um, and it, you get up close to the different sharks and, and the turtles there. So. Um, yeah, I would sort of certainly look out for that. I think they were on the hour, but I'm not sure if they do it every hour, but certainly sort of 2.30 and 3.30 whilst we were there, they were. Um, but um, yeah, if you, if you don't stop for that, then you probably have this done maybe in sort of half an hour, if you're lucky. So um, yeah, definitely worth doing the extra bits where you can. But um, yeah, of, on the small side, I would say. But uh, yeah, still... Still a few things to do there and it certainly kills some time, certainly if it's on a rainy day.
So that's it for this week's video. Hopefully you've liked the content. Hopefully it's given you a good idea of what to expect if you're heading to this location. Um, and like I say, if you're looking at some of the attractions that we've gone to, like I say, it's all in the uh, that welcome pack that I showed you earlier, where they do have uh, money off offers for that. Um, but um, yeah, like I say, it's, uh, it's a new location for us, which was the main thing. Um, and obviously, yeah, we'll be looking to see where we go next year uh, in and around that area just to try something new. Um, but uh, as always, we'll leave it there. And yeah, if you can consider subscribing as always uh, to the channel, that'd be great. And I will catch you all on the next one. Cheers, everybody.